Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can auto increase the font size of your content based on the user's screen size or viewport size. So what I have here is an index file, HTML file, very basic. I just have a div with the class container and I have a section that has uh, a heading and uh, a couple of paragraphs that all have um, dummy text. And then here in my CSS, uh, by the way, the CSS is linked to the uh, HTML file here through this uh, link attributes. And then uh, here in my uh, style sheets, um, I have border box. Um, I have this background uh, H1 that is the header, um, sorry, the, the heading, and it gets converted to uppercase. And then uh, I have this container, uh, display flex, I'm aligning the content vertically. But anyway, that's not the, the point here. Um, today, the topic is uh, accessibility. So you know that on the, on the web, it's very important that any type of person can access your content at any time uh, from anywhere under any conditions. So uh, one of the conditions that you need to think about is that some of your users might have a poor eyesight. Accessibility also includes um, making it easy for people to read your content. So the first rule or best practice that uh, you should apply definitely is uh, having enough contrast between your font color and the um, background color uh, that your text is sitting on. But the next thing that people pay less attention to is the font size. If you check here in my section, I have font size 1 EM. By default, this is 16 pixels, I believe. If I go here, I go to inspect elements, I can pick any paragraph. I come down here to um, uh, the computer section and I go to font size, it's 16 pixels, uh, right? And it's highlighting it's because I had one EM here. Now that 16 pixels is going to apply uh, to all viewport sizes. So if it's very small, it's still 16 pixels. If it's very large, it's still 16 pixels. Keep in mind that uh, some users may have uh, a very high resolution. So things may appear like smaller sometimes. And um, on a very large screen, 16 pixels can be small. Although on a mobile device, it should be fine. Well, you need to remember that on a mobile device, usually people are just holding their phones in their hands and uh, their phones are pretty close to their faces. So they don't have much trouble reading the content. But when you have a large monitor and then uh, you're just sitting back on your chair and there is at least like a meter distance between your screen and yourself or even two meters, then that's when you're going to start struggling to read. So how can you increase the font size automatically? People usually will use media queries, which is not the best recommended way. Well, thankfully in CSS, there is a function that takes care of that for us. And that's the calc function. So this is how it works. Instead of having font size 1 EM here, first of all, I'm going to change this to 1 REM. This is relative to the font size of the root elements. So in our case, the root elements would be the HTML elements. Now notice that if I come here at the very top and uh, I have HTML here and I set font size to 20 pixels, now everything has increased. If I go all the way to 30 pixels, it's going to be this 30 pixels. Anyway, by default, the HTML has um, a font size of 16 pixels in most browsers. So actually, instead of having one REM, I can simply write calc right here. And then now I can calculate one REM plus one VW. Now, what did I just do? One REM, we know it's 16 pixels. One VW, VW stands for viewport width. Viewport width uh, goes, um, you can use it all the way to 100 and um, it's a unit that basically um, is equal to, if I say one VW is equal to 1% of the viewport width. If I stretch this, you can see that now the text is can come here. The font size is 28 pixels. Okay. If I shrink this, now let's check it again. The font size is 20 pixels. So it's, it's very dynamic. Um, let me shrink this a little bit more. Now you can see it's just changed. It's 22 pixels. 
So of course, um, one REM plus one VW, maybe you may think it's too big, you can still make it like 0.9 EM plus uh, one VW. And then now on large screens, it will still be big enough. So you can control that. But the point here that I'm, I want to share and I want you to take away is that you can auto calculate this using the cat function. So that takes an expression. You can have plus, you can have minus if you want, but I don't see why you would want to reduce your font size anyway. You can also multiply, you can add um, divisions, etc. It will always return you a value. That's pretty much it. I don't want to take much of your time, but um, I hope you learned something very quick. It was just a quick video. And in the next one, we will look at more CSS tips and tricks. See you guys.